Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Nine of Pentacles from the Phantasma Tarot by tarot artist Paulina Cassidy. This deck is due out later this year from U.S. Game Systems, and if there are any changes to that, I will let you know, okay, because right now they are closed due to the pandemic, and I don't know when they will return to shipping, but I'll keep everyone apprised of that when I have the word. Anyway, let's talk about this card for today, okay, because it occurs to me, you know, one of the, one of the things that this card is about is that being independent, being able to stand on your own two feet, and so many out there right now are in a position where if you're having to live in isolation, you're having to figure out how to fend for yourself, all right? Which for some people is not that easy. Some people need other people around. They need those connections. And, you know, so it's, you know, it's a little tricky at times. But when you've achieved that, that's something you can be very proud of yourself for having been able to do. What I find interesting here is that you know me and, and music sometimes, things pop into my head. Now, not the entire lyrics for, you know, this song are for everyone's ears, but that major part, I guess you call it the chorus, every day I'm hustling, right? That's, that's the name of the song by artist Rick Ross, I believe, okay? And, you know, that's kind of what this chord is about, all right? You, you got to get out there sometimes and you really have to hustle to make things happen for yourself, okay? And this is no exception. We, we are living in exceptional times, unusual times, but you can still be, and I think it's even more predominant now to be honest with you, because people are having to hustle. They are having to find new ways to make ends meet right? I know you're all out there trying to do that. And, you know, what is it that you are doing? Like I said, this is a card of independence, of standing on your own two feet. And it pretty much is those who get out there and hustle, who have the ability to do that. All right. You know, there is uh, the ability here to I want to say enjoy things now this also can apply to this being at home thing when you think about it because if your environment contains you know those comforts the things that you love if you have achieved them then you're probably that much more content at having to stay in okay if you feel that you have what you need but if you don't then you may be, you know, kind of feeling at cross purposes there. I would be remiss if I did not say full moon blessings to everyone. Today is a full moon in Libra. And you know, the last couple of days we've been talking about balance, things being out of balance, and even indecision. And then here we have a Libra full moon, which can be very indecisive because it always wants to weigh things out. However, however, today we have an aspect only happens once every year, you know, maybe a little more than a year, let's put it that way, and Mars will square Uranus. Well, Mars is currently in Aquarius, the sign of freedom, and Uranus is in Taurus, and, you know, Taurus doesn't like to budge, so, you know, the universe may be working to actually, you know, move you out of that indecisive spot to get you moving, to get you going, to get you out there hustling and achieving. And I do discuss this in my calendar of planetary events, which you can check out. And, uh, you know, you gotta remember Mars is aggressive and Uranus is just rather abrupt. So pretty much anything can happen. We have a full moon going on. Um, I would not want to, you know, poke the bear today. I wouldn't want to, you know, speak and say something without thinking, all right? But there, there is a, a little bit of a pushy feeling here. And let's just hope that it's the universe pushing you 
to do something, to get something done. However, I do feel, and I know I've mentioned it somewhere, that it's not going to be as effective until we hit the 11th when Mercury finally leaves Pisces and moves on into Aries. And then I think you'll see everybody get up and get ready, you know, and start having those conversations and some thoughts to really get things going. Okay, so as for today, everybody keep on hustling and do what you got to do. I want to thank you very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.